After I got divorced from my first husband, I started drinking very heavily and I got in a lot of trouble with drinking. I didn't know where to go. I called a friend and a friend told me about Father Bill's. So I thought I was going to be sleeping outside. I thought I was going to be sleeping in the bushes. I was hoping that I could find maybe a place in somebody's yard to crash. But again, I called a friend and a friend said, no, it's not that bad. I know someplace. And he took me here. And I, I remember the day I came here, I believe it was December 23rd, had my whole life in a green trash bag. And when I walked up to the doors here, I wasn't sure if it was freezing rain on my cheeks or tears because I had never been so broken in my life. I, I just didn't know what to expect. When I was six years old, um, I, at six going on seven, I spent time at Main Spring House um, in Brockton. Um, my mother and I came here um, because uh, my family, uh, she and my father had a, a tumultuous relationship um, between the two of them and it kind of came to a head one night and um, she left with me and we came uh, to the shelter here and stayed for I want to say maybe two months or so. It was a short time. I remember everybody being kind. That's what I remember the best. Kind and welcoming and always so good with us children especially. So I had my seventh birthday at the shelter um, and I remember there was a, a woman that came in. Um, I, I couldn't tell you what she looked like or what her name was now, um, but I remember what she did for me, which was very comforting and touching to me. She brought in a clown for my birthday with balloons and um, she gave me a book. And um, as I said, I had asked my mother when we were leaving our house to bring something and I, I wasn't able to, so I had nothing with me. Um, so the book was just such a kind gift and I remember that to this day because her kindness meant so much to me. I had walked in the door here and um, pretty much found a new life for myself. My, my, my sobriety remained intact, I was treated decent, was allowed to get a job. So not only am I very grateful to Father Bill's for the things that it did for me when I was in crisis and in my personal life, but it spawned an 18 year, very rewarding career for me in human services. So my youngest is um, pretty much the same age exactly as I was when I came to the shelter and um, the situation is different because you know, my husband and I are together and we have a home for them and they live a wonderful life and it's so nice to be able to give them that. And I have told them my story because I want them to know, you know, that, that you know, things aren't always perfect and wonderful, you know, that, that hard times happen and, you know, that things, good things can come from those hard times. This is my first visit to Father Bill's in, in yes, in many, many years. And I remember storing my belongings here, and I remember being so grateful to have a place to hang my head every night, being so grateful to have a place to store my belongings. But it was also right here, literally right here, when I woke up on December 24th, and there was a gift bag on my bed of things that I needed. Whether I knew I needed them or not, I guess I did. We all need socks and underwear and that kind of thing, but there was nobody getting it for me that Christmas. So it was very emotional when I walked in and saw this bed. Those feelings really came flooding back to me. A lot of gratitude, a lot of gratitude. There are so many other aspects to why people might become homeless, um, whether it's domestic issues, um, like what I experienced, or just um, even like a change in, in fortune, you know, when people fall on hard times and such. I think it can really happen to anybody at any time. I think it's just so important to contribute to Farther Bills in Main Spring because of all the things that they do and all the people that they help. We have to have homeless shelters, we have to have human services agencies. People need a place to turn when they've got nowhere else to go. We're all human, anything can happen. The bottom line is everybody needs help and thank goodness there's places like Father Bills to offer that help.